Hi there, welcome to Grain TV. It's Tuesday, November 3rd. We had a turnaround for Tuesday after Monday sell-off. Let's take a look at the Grain Hedge trading platform and see where we closed. In Chicago, corn was up four cents a bushel while beans for January delivery was fractionally higher and wheat gained back eight and a half cents after Monday's 15 cent slide. Let's take a look at the bean chart we were focusing on yesterday and we talked about that January bean coming with support around 876. We actually touched on that support overnight in the limited trading session, but we managed to uh, rally over that support or keep that support intact and rally throughout most of the course of the trading day. Today's trade was uh, a little bit too directional. We could not sustain any rallies. The weather in Brazil continues to be favorable. Nothing uh, too wet, nothing too dry in the horizon for the next couple of weeks. So any sort of rally seems to be met with pretty significant selling pressure. We did manage to close higher, but only fractionally. So again, keep your eye on that 876 chart barrier as uh, underlying support for this Jan beans and see if we can continue to hold it. Some of the other news out today, Informa gave us fresh corn and soybean forecast numbers. Both of those numbers came in higher than what USDA had expected in October. Corn yield was up to 170 bushels an acre versus USDA's 168, and Informa projects soybean yields almost at 48, just a hair under at 47.9, versus October's USDA forecast of 47.2. Both of those projections add more bushels to the supply and demand report uh, you know, look for Informa or look for USDA to probably boost their production numbers as well in the uh, next week's uh, supply and demand report. Uh, overall, you know, the the end result is just more of the same, more uh, burdensome supplies. In the case of corn, very very sluggish export demand. Soybeans continues to have. Uh, underlying good export demand, which is keeping this market from really sort of uh, taking a dive to the low $8 mark. In terms of cash markets, let's take a look at basis. And we've been talking about the potential for corn basis to rally into the uh, end of the calendar year. And we're seeing a very good move here as a result of this flatness in the corn futures market. Farmers are, are starting to put that crop in the bin. We're seeing some end users starting to bid it up. In the last two weeks, we're up six cents on US average basis. We expect that basis level to continue to climb, probably gaining another uh, eight to 10 cents over the next six to seven weeks by the end of the calendar year. Other news out today, uh, ADM and Green Plains Ethanol both reporting uh, earnings. That's not terribly interesting, but what is interesting to the grain sector is both of the CEOs for those companies said that farmer sales are very slow. Farmers are holding tight to both the corn and bean crop uh, in comparison to where they normally are this time of year. So again, that's, that's good for short-term basis gains. It could potentially be bearish though as we get into the second half of the marketing year, uh, especially as we butt up against planting and farmers need to cash flow some seed purchases and input purchases. But right now that's help, helping to support the cash market, may give the futures a lift, but overall the supply and demand balance sheet is just not overly positive uh, for corn and soybeans. That's all we got on Grain Hedge. Join us tomorrow and we will be talking about the EIA ethanol numbers.